Melambo baby and welcome to all things. My name is Lerila Masole. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're regular, regular, make it like, hey. All right, so in today's video, I will be giving you something called the Battle of the Rangers. I'm hoping this will be a series that's long standing on my channel. But anyway, the point of this series is to introduce a brand to you and then put two of the Rangers against them. So what I'm hoping to achieve by doing this is to give you an in-depth understanding of the different products each of the ranges have to offer and ultimately to see if it was worthwhile for the brand to have launched the range that, you know, we're going to be checking the other against. Yeah. So the brand in question today is Neutrogena and the ranges that I will be pitting against one another is the Visibly Clear range versus the Hydro Boost range. These two are fan favorites, cult favorites as they would say and I'm really excited to give you my two cents on that. So let's get right into it. Okay. So I'm going to start with the Neutrogena spot controlling range. I have my phone here in front of me to read because I made some notes. And yeah, let's get into it. So the spot controlling range is made up of four products, as you can see. And I'm going to start off with the two-in-one wash mask, spot controlling wash mask, right? So they say uh, it's developed with dermatologists for spot-prone skin. It's clinically proven to tackle stubborn spots and helps prevent future breakouts. This is an oil-free formula with kaolin, white clay, and purifying salicylic acid. It works both as a face wash and face mask to deeply cleanse and remove impurities while respecting skin's natural balance. So standout points here is that it's oil-free. Uh, it's made for spot prone skin, which is what the whole range is made for, basically. And the active ingredient here is salicylic acid. So I'm just going to insert a little picture here that's giving you a breakdown of what salicylic is all about. So you can screenshot it and save it. Yeah. Okay, so the next product I'm going to speak about is the oil free moisturizer. Yeah. So. The oil-free moisturizer, they say it provides all-day hydration for a smooth and clearer complexion. Um, they say it provides 24-hour hydration without clogging pores. It's formulated with salicylic acid, um, aloe vera, and chamomile. It, it's technically proven to help clear spots and prevent spots while helping fade the spot marks. Right, so standout points here are that it obviously has salicylic acid, aloe vera, which is cooling to the skin, and chamomile. I wonder what the effects of chamomile on the skin are. That's just interesting. Right, and then the next product we're going to look at is the facial scrub. Right, so the facial scrub also is an oil-free formula. It is formulated with purifying salicylic acid it gently exfoliates the skin and is tech is clinically proven to tackle stubborn spots and help prevent future breakouts developed with dermatologists it's an oil-free blah, blah 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 with natural cellulose exfoliators that help deeply cleanse and unclog the pores while respecting the skin's barrier and the last product within the range is the facial wash i'm just giving you a rundown of what each of the products are said to offer on the according to the website and then we'll just you know give you an in-depth you know, analysis okay so the facial wash yep developed with dermatologists yep it's a spot controlling facial wash which contains salicylic acid and is clinically proven to help tackle stubborn spots and prevent future breakouts it's an oil-free face wash and it cleanses the skin while maintaining its natural balance for refined complexion right so a wrap up these are the four products that are available within this range i must say as a disclaimer before people drag me on the streets and say oh yeah because yeah, 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 it's me using yes i do use it because for reference sake i have got acne prone um skin that's my skin type it's oily i have an oily t-zone so combination so to speak leaning more on the oily side so what is a standout for me from this range is that the active ingredient is salicylic acid this is a chemical exfoliant and it's actually quite easy to formulate with so you will find it in a wide variety of you know different um products sorry the word was leaving me there so you'll find it in a lot of products which means that you can actually use it from face wash to moisturizer to mask to scrub it's easily formulated and it's a gentle enough um and then they offer a gentle enough formula for you to use twice a day or once a day depending on how you have scheduled out your skincare routine remember things like face masks and scrubs are not things that you can do or you should do every day rather even though they do say it's formulated for daily use rather just lean on the cautious side where you you know schedule say a wednesday and a friday for scrub days sunday for mask days because 
if you're using one set active ingredient every single day its consistency on your skin will you know start to reflect and they say that it's spot controlling you they you get um things such as you know calming and cooling effects for spots because they tend to have inflammation you get things that help you know the complexion of your skin as someone who is an avid user of the range itself i must say listen it's about some things i am going to try and source some really bad quality pictures where you can see kind of like the previous state of my skin and currently where it's at and i must say i have noticed some results so in terms of them speaking truth We'll give it to we'll, we'll we'll give it to them, yeah. But one thing I must say about Neutrogena products, before I'm even looking at the ingredients list and anything, one thing I know for sure is that they are quite fragrance, yeah. So if you're someone that is sensitive to fragrance products, I must say lean on the cautious side. If you have a friend that has, excuse me, if you have a friend or you know that someone uses these products and you're curious about trying them out, maybe ask them for like a tester as opposed to, you know, going and buying the full range only for you to find that it's not compatible with your skin. You know, that's an option. I do wish the South African skincare market would offer sample size of products so that we can actually trial them because a lot, like the basis rather of skincare is trial and error and using testers. So that's just my two cents as a whole when it comes to skincare in this. So now we're gonna move on to the Neutrogena Hydro Boost range this range is loud i mean if you go on their page as if you're on their south african page i'm prepared to bet my bottom dollar which i'm currently at that it's everywhere it's probably like in their first nine pictures they recently did a pr stunt i must say in terms of just you know bringing awareness to the brand i believe it's something that was launched so far as two years ago i do stand to be corrected and so this year we saw an upsurgence of them just really promoting it, gassing it, and obviously putting our favorite faces to kind of endorse the brand. So let's see what they have to say about their brand and what was my two cents on it. Yeah. Okay, so the Hydro Boost range is quite an extensive one. And I think it's the latest release that we have from Neutrogena in South Africa. And just quickly looking, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They are they gave us nine products compared to the spot clearing range. It's four products here. We have nine. So clearly they were like, listen, we're going to give you everything and some in between. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the serum, the supercharged serum. If you actually go onto my IG and you scroll on my IGTV um section on my page you will see that i actually did a review series on this serum way 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 back this is how i know that this this range was launched way back i'm sure they were probably gathering information to see how it fared and yeah i had some i mean i'm not going to speak too much about like my thoughts on it but i did create a mini series there on my igtv so just take a gander okay so what they say on the site about the serum is that you know, when your skin moisture's barrier is weakened, it can lead to dry, lackluster, tired-looking skin. That's where the hydrating serum with hyaluronic acid can help illuminate and energize your complexion. Luxuriously gliding on. Ooh, it's the age it takes for my. <laughs> so basically, the hydrating serum with hyaluronic acid delivers a hydrating boost, while botanical trehalose helps to lock in moisture, not my mother tongue. The pearl capsules burst to release a vitamin E, which is great for the skin, and they say it revitalizes and protects the skin against everyday environmental stresses. The result is that the skin feels healthy and hydrated with a radiant glow. As we can see, the standout active ingredient here for this range is hyaluronic acid. Okay, so they got pearls with vitamin E. Vitamin E is your skin's best friend. Wherever you can find it in various products, take it, put it in, put it on, everything. Right, so then the next product we're going to look at is the Exfoliator Smoothing Gel. They were like, lips. so what I'm just noticing while reading the names and the various textures that they speak of is that they were going to give us range, yeah? Range. Okay, so the Hydro Boost Exfoliating Smoothing Gel, yeah? They say that it is an innovative gel with soft, naturally derived microbeads that gently exfoliates and removes impurities while delivering a vital boost of hydration. The combination of Neutrogena cleansing technology, hydrating agent, and hyaluronic acid, which is naturally found in skin, helps the formula to protect the skin barrier, boost hydration, and help it lock it in. Okay, then they speak about how they, they were leaders and how they just great and they walk on rainbows. 
it. Okay, so what stands out for me about this gel is that they use exfoliating beads. I must speak my truth when it comes to exfoliating beads. I'm not a fan because it's basically tiny, 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 tiny plastic balls that are meant to give you the flow effect of what kind of like, um, think sugar, the granular feel of sugar and its tininess that's that's the feel that they take they want to kind of recreate when it comes to that exfoliating process that's my only two cents i am so upset that the video cut when i was speaking about the gel but i was giving i was basically speaking about how hyaluronic acid is the active ingredient for it my only qualm is that when you have micro beads they're not necessarily going to give you the granular pale such as sugar wood in an exfoliator and it actually is tiny, 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 tiny beads of plastic, if we're speaking about truth. So I'm not too happy about that. But it's here. It's a gel. Um, it's a gel based. Uh, it's a gel based. Sorry, it's a gel based exfoliator. And oh, and and that's pretty much it. I'm so upset. Like I actually can you tell that like my energy has been thrown off by the fact that the filming cut. Anyway, moving swiftly along, the next product we're going to speak about is the awakening eye cream can we speak our truth about eye creams i don't think i don't believe in eye creams i'm so sorry i said it unless like it's a well formulated eye cream it has to be giving off something because basically it's just like a slightly thicker formula of moisturizer so if it's not really giving you a targeted relief of something that concerns you when it comes to your under eye skin, don't get it. Personally, my two cents is that it's a waste of time. So basically, they say that the eye cream is enriched with hyaluronic acid and botanical trehalose with hydrating eye care product that targets delicate eye skin, eye, eye skin for hydrating all day long boost hyaluronic acid is going to give it's going to give that plumping effect to the skin so think about this if your moisturizer and your cleanser already have hyaluronic acid on them and then you're going to put an eye cream that has hyaluronic acid on it do you need it can you see the point that i'm getting to so i must say this is where i'm, I'm going to be like it's not quite necessary but we shall move swiftly along to the city shield water what's or the city shield water gel spf 25 so we've got sunscreen in this cut this is something that the spot controlling range didn't have so hmm. right so they say the hydrating lotion is formulated with hyaluronic acid it replenishes the skin with a boost of intense hydration it also strengthens the skin barrier after a day so it can actively defend against external aggression so this is commenting on the pollution that your skin is commonly exposed to and they say that it helps the skin fight against pollution it's formula containing antioxidants so think berries um can help protect the skin from pollution damage and preserve its youthful glow it protect the it protects against sun damage and it's developed with helioplex that delivers superior protection against harmful uvb and uva rays that can cause premature aging love the fact that there is some kind of sun care involved within this range this is something across the board every single range should give us because a lot of people don't seem to see that don't seem to see that sunscreen is honestly the foundation to helping anything anything else that you do to your skin afterwards so whatever treatment and processes you undergo when it comes to your the look or the feel or the overall you know health of your skin sunscreen is the foundation to maintaining and ensuring that you actually get visibly even and clear results when it comes to sun care so i got lost in this one visibly in sunscreen yeah moving swiftly along yeah. the next product we're looking at is a water gel moisturizer i don't know what i'm saying i don't know why so they say this moisturizer replenishes and helps protects the skin for a healthy skin glow oh this has got a lot of adjectives let me go to the good part so basically saying so this range what i'm getting from it while i sift through the unnecessary writing is that it's formulated for people who tend to complain about dry skin need that good hydration lock-in when it comes to um the feel of their skin it also helps from what i gather repair the texture and barrier of your skin your skin barrier has to be in the most fortified form so you can get 
any kind of result when it comes to whatever sun skincare, sorry, skincare treatment you embark on. Right, so I'm gonna go to the bullet point because all of that is just like very long and convoluted ways of them talking about how great it is. But they say it hydrates and protects the skin for healthy glow. It's a lightweight water gel formula, clinically proven to improve the skin hydration in just one application. I'd like to believe that there might just might be some glycerine or some extract of glycerine in that for you to get that supple feel just from the first try. They say it minimizes the look of dehydration lines. That's definitely where I believe glycerine comes into play. It does not clog pores. And that's where I think the balancing of hyaluronic acid and botanical to halose helps with locking in the moisture that the skin is now you know, getting a jam-packed exposure to. Now yeah. we're going to move on to the next product in this range is the Gel Cream Moisturizer. So the Gel Cream Moisturizer is something that was actually quite interesting for me. I'm not a fan of gel-based, you know, moisturizing um, products because I don't feel like they will do what they need to do. I feel as though they're such lightweight, they'll probably be sucked into my skin and get popped cast aside which is ironic considering that i have an oily-ish skin type so wouldn't i be opting for you know lightweight not so heavy products but that actually has been you know the other way for me what i've like realized is that i prefer things are slightly thicker in formula but let's see what she's about so again we see that it is enriched with hyaluronic acid and botanical three it is intensely moisturizing and hydrating 48 our dermatologically tested targets dry skin and it is a fragrance free formula and it is an oil free face gel this is where i can see that it is definitely correcting you know the issues that might have been noticed in the previous ranges that come out from neutrogena which is that whole fragrance thing so that's where the points will be given to that Moving swiftly along, we're going to move on to something that I'm not particularly a fan of, but hey, nonetheless, this brand came up with it, so we will check it out, which are cleansing facial wipes. I am personally someone that is team double cleansing or using oil cleansers, or at the very, 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 very least, micellar water instead. Yep. Yeah. So the Hydro Boost Cleansing Facial White. So basically, this is great for instantly removing makeup and impurities. Uh, they say that it's even formulated to be effective on waterproof mascara while quenching the skin with a vital boost of hydration. So hydration, hydration, hydration is the name of the game for this range. They say it's got hyaluronic acid and it helps to protect the skin's barrier by making sure that it locks in hydration and that it is suitable for sensitive skin. This is the first time within going down the list, the drop down list of what the range has to offer that they speak about it being formulated for sensitive skin. Seeing that there's gel, seeing that it's fragrance free, that's when you start to know that it may be, those are words that you can see when looking at a range that you can, you know, believe that it's going to be kinder to sensitive skin types. All right, we've got two more products to go through. Hang in there with me. So we've got the water gel cleanser, yeah? So the cleanser says that it, it helps your skin to feel hydrated and supple. It's an innovative lightweight gel that activates the water to lather away uh, dirt, oil, and makeup while quenching the skin with a boost of vital hydration. They say it has a, it has a hyaluronic acid um, formula to help protect the skin's barrier and help lock in um, hydration. So when you look at what the product description on the range is, please do not get like disturbed by the beautiful adjective and writing as in they're trying to sell this to you. But read rather the bullet point list of what they say ultimately is the truth about this. Water gel based cleansers is what I believe in using. I feel like they're gentle, the lather, building up that lather and using it onto your face for some people, say 45, 30, even 60 seconds onto the skin. I'm team 60 seconds. Love that. It gives you, you know, the most effective product payoff of what the formulas that they brag about it actually says. Yeah. Right. And the last and least that this range has to offer is the triple micellar water. So I actually started like my introduction rather into the double cleansing, you know, method was by using micellar water. So at first I would, you know, take my cotton pad or, you know, uh, my rewashable uh, face cloth, whatever, and I would put micellar water and wipe off, you know, my product or even if I'm not wearing makeup because I need to take off the sunscreen and build up of product on my face. So that's what I would use. Micellar water is just, is basically like, 
diluted cleanser so to speak in very layman's 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 term so it helps break down the micelle the micelle particles helps to break down the oil particles that are on your face yeah this is why they say that it removes makeup and helps to draw out dirt and oil and boost the skin hydration leaving your skin feeling refreshingly clean and touchably finally we got through what the range the Hydro Boost range has to offer. And my two cents on this range is that it's basically trying to make it seem as though it is a wholesome, one-stop shop kind of range, which is great, but you don't really need it. As already, you could tell that the eye cream, considering that you have the wash, the serum, the, 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 the what's it, the micellar water, and the sunscreen already being formulated with hyaluronic acid, what the eye cream says to offer in terms of plumping the skin is beyond you know you know it's unnecessary because one thing about the your skin is that it will take in what it needs to and anything else that's piled up on top of it it really won't take it in so that's why the barrier your skin barrier being in a healthy position is all you really need to try and focus on because it can be more receptive to what other treatment that you'll need what are my final two cents on both of these ranges I personally think for you to get the like, bona fide experience of what the Neutrogena brand has to offer, I would encourage inter-range uh, mixing. So taking perhaps the cleansers uh, from the one range, moisturizers from another range, just to balance out, you know, the feel of what salicylic acid and hyaluronic acid have to offer when it comes to your skincare routine. I feel as though if you focus solely on one range, you're kind of closing yourself out to experiencing other products and active ingredients that can really give you a bona fide skincare routine experience. Yeah, um, what else do I have to offer on it? I feel like I just got so overwhelmed by the Hydro Boost range having so much and a bit getting a bit redundant, and then the spot controlling range kind of lacking in the sun care element of it. I know they have a visibly even sunscreen, but that's just an independent product from the brand it doesn't fall within you know the umbrella of the spot clearing range and yeah welcome to topical topicals with Lebuila Masoy in this week's insert we will be looking at the latest trend that has come about using toner with your hands Can you use toner with your hands? That is the question at hand. We have seen some of our favorite skincare and estheticians on the Twitter sphere talking about using toner with their hands. Some people actually have expressed excitement and joy in being able to speak about their truth with the method that they have been using. I'm not too sure about that, but hey, it seems like this is what's going on on the streets. My name is Vebu Masoy coming in with this week's insert of Topical Topicals. Thank you so much for tuning in.